Hi folks, MKC here. So if you want to define a new type in TypeScript, you have two options to choose from. You can use a type alias or an interface. And I suppose you may be asking yourself, which one should I choose? Which one is better? So the truth is that in modern TypeScript, these two options have a lot in common and in many situations you can use either. But still, there are some major differences between what type can do and what interface can do. Today I will show you the similarities, the differences and the use cases for each of them. At the end of the video, I will share my heuristic, which one I choose at which situations we will try to answer the question, which is better for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the editor and get familiar with type aliases and interfaces. Come on. So as you can see on the left, we have a type that describes a candidate and on the right side, we have the same, but with the interface. So this is the first similarity we can describe objects with types and interfaces. So the second thing that we often want to describe with TypeScript is functions. We also can do this both with types and interfaces. Let's see the difference between those two. So obviously the feature parity is there, but there are some major differences uh, between this syntax. And I would say, if I have to choose, I would prefer the type syntax. It's a lot more straightforward. It looks really similar to the arrow function. Meanwhile, the interface syntax looks kind of weird. It's still really similar to the object. The only difference between object property and a function is uh, are those parentheses. So if I have to type a function, I will always go with a type alias as a better, more readable option, at least for me. So the next similarity that we want to talk about is implementing those two by classes. Both type aliases and interfaces can be implemented by classes, no differences here, but you can see we have an error here. And here we will find out about the first real difference between type alias and interface. We need to create a separate type for our education field because we want to use it both in our type and here in our class, because right now it's inferred as a string, not as a doctorate literal. And what you have to do here is to actually create a type. American education level, let's call it this way. We'll copy this, use it here and use it here. And right now the compilator no longer complains, but uh, we can only create a union type by a type alias. We can do it with the interface. The same goes with intersection types. They are also only doable by a type. So we have two last similarities that I want to mention. The first is generics. You can use uh, it with both of these uh, keywords. It works with a type and it works with the interface. And as you can see at the same time, the index signature works also for both type and interface. And what is cool, you can extend both interfaces by interfaces. Let's see. This way, interface extended candidate extends candidate. And let's see, we have an address here and we can do the same here, but with the other syntax. So here we have to use an intersection type. So when we look at this syntax, the similar situation uh, as regarding the function, we have a feature parity, but in my opinion, here interfaces work better. So when I'm working with some complex object type definition, I tend to use interfaces because of this extend scale word that is more readable and easier to write for me. What is important to know here is that you can mix types and interfaces if you want to extend something. So if I would like to extend a, a type candidate, I can still uh, do it. A compilator doesn't complain about this. But there are some exceptions to this rule. Uh, if you use some complex type that can be described by the interface, then in such situation, your interface won't be able to extend such complex type. And that's all regarding similarities. Now let's focus on the differences. So we already mentioned that we can use union types and intersection types only with type aliases. So the next thing that is only possible with type aliases is creating aliases for primitive types. So let's define a nullish type, which will be an alias for undefined and null. 
So the next thing that I'm gonna say may be oversimplification for some, but I would still say that you can only define a type for a tuple using type aliases. Let's see how it look like. So we have a duo candidate and we go right here, candidate and candidate. So we say that we want a array, but only with two elements. So what you can do to mimic this with the interface is something like this, but you have to be aware of that you lose access to all of the array methods uh, like concat, push, pop. You won't get access to this with such type. Uh, with our type duo candidate, we have access to all of the array prototype. So this is preferable option by a lot. I wouldn't go hard on interfaces here. And there are some more advanced TypeScript features like map types, like conditional types. They are also only available if you use type aliases. But there is also one thing that is only doable via interface and which is also really powerful in some of the use cases. With interfaces, we have something called declaration merging. Right now we have two interfaces called candidate in our file and there are no errors as you can see and this is actually a valid syntax uh, in which we leverage this declaration merging. It works in the following way. The compilator will merge those two interfaces into one. So the first pretty common use case uh, for declaration merging is extending some common external interface. We have let's say interface for this global window object. And we would like to add some method here. Let's say our server side application inject something into window on render and we want to leverage uh, such method later in our front end code. And what we want to do here is to somehow extend this window interface uh, with our candidate greeter object. It has a method which will greet a candidate and we want to say that it's available in our window interface and we do this uh, like this with such syntax and as you can see after we do this declaration merging we can safely access candidate greeter object and call its grief method. If you want to do the same with the recruiter greeter you can't do it because we didn't uh, extend the window uh, with such object. The second use case is for folks that actually create type declaration files uh, for other people to use. There, using interfaces instead of types is often uh, a good idea because people will be able to actually merge their declaration. Of course, it's not always a good idea if you want to be strict about how it will be used. The type is a better idea because someone won't be able to merge it with some creation of their own. But if you want to be flexible, interface should be your way to go. Okay, that was the last code example. Now we are ready to answer our question, which one is better, which should I use in my project? So in my opinion, none of these two is strictly better than the other. You can use what you prefer. I actually prefer to go with interface by default. But of course, if I want to type a function, I use a type alias. If I need to use some more complex structure, like a conditional type, like a map type, I don't have a choice really. I have to go with a type. So by default, I go with the interface. If I need to, I use a type alias. Please tell me in the comments which option you prefer, type alias or interface and why. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up if you haven't already. See you in the next one. Have a great week. Bye bye.